Have you ever thought about the unthinkable that our beloved pets could be silently battling cancer? It's a grim thought, isn't it? Yet, it's an issue that pet owners around the globe grapple with daily. It's time we shine a light on pet cancer, a silent predator lurking in the shadows. Pet cancer, much like human cancer, is a disease characterized by the uncontrolled growth of cells. These rogue cells can invade and damage healthy body tissue, and if left unchecked, can lead to serious health complications, and yes, even death. Now, let's talk about how common this is among our furry friends. It might surprise you to learn that cancer is not just a human affliction. It's a significant health concern in pets, particularly in dogs and cats. In fact, it is estimated that one in four dogs and one in five cats will develop cancer at some point in their lives. That's a staggering number, isn't it? And just like in humans, age is the biggest risk factor. The chances of your pet developing cancer increase as they grow older. It's an unfortunate fact of life that our pets, as they age, become more susceptible to this terrible disease. But it's not all doom and gloom. There's hope. With advancements in veterinary medicine, many forms of pet cancer are now treatable and in some cases, even curable. The key, however, lies in early detection and intervention. Yet herein lies the challenge. Our pets cannot communicate their discomfort in the same way humans can. They can't tell us when they're in pain, when they're not feeling well, or when something just doesn't feel right. They rely on us, their caretakers, to notice the subtle changes in their behavior and health. This brings us to the crux of today's discussion. Our pets cannot tell us when they are in pain, making early detection a challenge. As responsible pet owners, it's up to us to stay attentive, to stay informed, and to do everything in our power to ensure our pets live healthy and happy lives. Now, let's delve into the numbers. How prevalent really is cancer among our pets? To get an understanding of the scale, let's consider this. Approximately one in four dogs will develop cancer at some point in their lives. That's a quarter of our canine companions. Among cats, the number is slightly lower but still significant, with about one in five developing cancer. Certain breeds of dogs are more susceptible to specific types of cancer. For instance, golden retrievers and boxers are known to have a high risk of developing lymphoma, a cancer of the lymph nodes. Rottweilers and Bernese mountain dogs, on the other hand, are more prone to bone cancer. When it comes to our feline friends, Breeds like Siamese and Maine Coons have a higher tendency to develop cancers such as lymphoma and mammary gland tumors. Interestingly, white cats are at a higher risk of skin cancer, especially if they spend a lot of time in the sun. Now, here's an important fact we all need to be aware of. Cancer is the leading cause of death in dogs over the age of 10. Aging is a significant risk factor for cancer in both dogs and cats, just as it is in humans. The numbers are sobering, but it's essential to remember that not all cancers are the same. Some are highly aggressive and spread rapidly, while others are slow growing and can be managed for some time. And while certain cancers are more common in specific breeds, any dog or cat regardless of breed, can develop cancer. Moreover, advances in veterinary science mean that many types of cancer can now be effectively treated, or at least managed, extending our pets' lives and improving their quality of life. These figures may be alarming, but remember, knowledge is the first step to prevention. It's crucial to know the risks, recognize the signs early, and seek veterinary care promptly. 
After all, our pets rely on us to keep them safe and healthy. They're not just pets, they're family. So what should we look for? What are the warning signs of cancer in pets, you may wonder? Well, let's dive right in. One of the most common signs of pet cancer is abnormal swellings. These lumps or bumps may appear anywhere on your pet's body and can grow larger over time. While some of these swellings could be harmless, others may be a sign of something more sinister. So it's always a good idea to get them checked out. Next, we have sores that do not heal. It's normal for pets to have minor injuries from time to time. But if you notice a wound that doesn't seem to heal or keeps reopening, it could be a cause for concern. Persistent sores might be an indication of an underlying issue, possibly cancer. Weight loss is another red flag. If your pet is losing weight without any changes in diet or exercise, it's time to consult a vet. Unexplained weight loss could be a sign of several diseases, including cancer. A loss of appetite can also be a warning sign. Our pets love their food and a sudden change in their eating habits could be a signal that something is amiss. While loss of appetite could indicate various health issues, it's one of the signs to watch out for when it comes to pet cancer. Lastly, difficulty breathing. If your pet seems to be struggling for breath or their breathing pattern changes noticeably, it could be a symptom of lung cancer or other types of cancer that affect the respiratory system. Now it's crucial to remember that these symptoms aren't definitive proof of cancer. They could be signs of other health issues, but they do warrant a visit to the vet. Regular checkups and early detection are our best tools in the fight against pet cancer. It's all about being proactive and staying one step ahead. Being vigilant about these signs could be a life-saving decision for your pet. So let's keep our eyes open and our hearts attuned to our beloved pets. Their lives may very well depend on it. In the face of these sobering facts, what can we do to protect our beloved pets? The answer lies in the key points we've discussed today. It's crucial to remember that early detection can be a game changer. By familiarizing ourselves with the signs of cancer in pets, we can act swiftly and decisively at the first hint of trouble. Never underestimate the power of a regular veterinary checkup. These routine visits provide an opportunity for vets to spot potential issues, including cancer, before they become major problems. It's also essential to remember that knowledge is power. By understanding the facts and figures around pet cancer, we take the first steps towards prevention and if necessary treatment. In conclusion, the fight against pet cancer is a collective endeavor. It requires vigilance, awareness, and above all, love for our pets. Together, we can fight pet cancer, ensuring our furry friends live the long, healthy lives they deserve.